Hello there. We're back in action with some more words. This is one of those words like pronounce and pronunciation that changes. You change the pronunciation, the vowel sound, when the word changes its form. So the concept is prestige with an E sound. And this means that if your children have very expensive shoes, then this is because you're interested in prestige. So you want your offspring to look top class. So if you earn a lot of money, you're going to kit out your kids with expensive shoes. What for? Is there a normal set of shoes? Would that not work? Yes, of course it'd work, but it doesn't have the same prestige. Prestige means showing that you are of a high level person in society. Prestige. And uh, if someone says to you, why are you wearing such expensive shoes? I think the Prime Minister has £400 shoes. I don't think I've ever spent more than $10 in my life on a pair of shoes. And I usually make them last 10 years. I am a proud owner of two pairs of shoes at the moment. And they're both 15 years old. So... Because I feel it is prestigious. So you don't say prestigious when you change the form. You say prestigious. So it's prestige and then it becomes prestigious rather than prestigious. The significant city in Scotland, the capital of Scotland, with a fascinating history, unlike any other city in Europe, it has its own laws, which are a bit of a mystery, and they go beyond time, the laws be beyond prehistory in Edinburgh. And uh, you may get an of how it's pronounced. So, people could be tempted to call it Edinburgh, they could be tempted to pronounce it as Edin Edinburgh, Edinburgh, Edin Edinburgh. In fact, if you listen to how people say it in Scotland when they're speaking fluently, it's you use a swa, so it's Edinburgh. I'm going to Edinburgh on a train. I just come back from Edinburgh, or I'm going to uh, be visiting Edinburgh for a week. So. This relies on what's known as a schwa, which is a vowel sound, which is like a uh. And this, is, this schwa sound is not an A, E, I, O, or U. It's not an actual full vowel. It's a kind of uh sound. But what this does is it lets you pronounce things much more fluently and quickly, and it's probably the most used uh, pronunciation sound but it doesn't have an official kind of letter, in a, in a sense. So, the best way to pronounce it, and people will understand you, is Edinburgh. I'm going to Edinburgh today, I'm coming back from Edinburgh. Using the uh. If you said Edinburgh, that's too strong, because that would be a, a kind of overemphasis. So it's a, uh, it's a shortened vowel, Edinburgh. This is the sound of silence. The L here is silent. We're talking about a concept where everything's tranquil, peaceful, and people are relaxed. Calm, as in steady calm, calm, called it's calm. There's no, you don't pronounce the L at all. There's a lots of silent letters in English. That's why it makes it a, quite a baffling language because you pronounce things quite differently from the way you read them. Calm. Or if you're English, calm. Calm. A rounded A sound. 
Scottish Cam. American Cam. Cam. Stay, stay Cam. You really should be saying be calm because you aren't calm yet. So when someone tells you to, instructs you to stay calm, they're contradicting themselves because it should really be be calm because you're not calm yet. You have to become calm before you can stay calm. An oxymoron. Interesting word here. Says. Technically, if you say says, she says, and then he says, and she says. Um, says is probably okay, but the, the, the standard pronunciation is says. So when you see that S-A-Y-S, that's pronounced says. When I'm writing dialogue, interestingly, I write mostly always in present tense. So I never, I never say she said, he said. I always say she says or he says. I put it into present tense. And when I'm writing, I know we always sit in present tense. He was walking down the street and he looked over to a window. Rather than saying he walked down the street and looked over, that's slightly in the past tense. I tend to sit in the present tense when I'm writing. And then when I look at a book, when people keep write, doing things in the past tense, it seems strange to me. He said this, he did that. He, I would tend to think he's doing it in present tense. This looks like an impossible word to pronounce and can get very confusing when you look at it. The key to this is the t, th sound, just drop it out entirely. Doesn't need to be there in the pronunciation. So it looks like I say something, you can't pronounce it. So, if I just drop the th out, asthma, asthma, there's no th in there at all in, in pronunciation. 